Ain's most impressive displays of power in The Last Airbender. Throughout Nickelodeon's original avatar, The Last Airbender animated series, Ain boasts more than a few impressive displays of power that prove he's not an avatar to be trifled with. Created by Michael Dante DiMartino and Brian Konietzko, the three-season atlas centers on Aim, a 12-year-old boy who's both the titular avatar of being who can bend all four elements and the only remaining airbender in the world. A century before the show begins, the power-hungry Fire Nation commits genocide against the Air Nomads, hoping to snuff out the recently reincarnated avatar, so that, eventually, they're reborn into the Fire Nation. Ain manages to escape the Fire Nation's purge, after being in a strange stasis for 100 years, he's discovered by Water Tribe siblings, wannabe warrior Sokka and Waterbender in training Katara. With his new friend's help, Ain travels the world in the hopes of mastering all four elements. As the Avatar, he's also tasked with bringing balance to the world and that means ending the 100-year war and putting an end to Fire Lord. In Book 3, Several members of Team Avatar have one-on-one -on -one field trips with their most recent addition, Zuko, the banished Fire Nation prince who spent most of the series hunting Aang down in order to restore his honor. Committed to ending his father's reign, Zuko offers to train Aang in the ways of fire bending. Cut off from his bending, Zuko embarks on a quest to learn from the original masters of the craft, dragons. Thankfully, Aang goes along for the ride. The duo's quest culminates in a beautifully animated moment, surrounded by multicolored flames, both warriors find their inner strength and perfectly execute the legendary dragon dance. Although Aang is aware that 100 years have passed while he was frozen in an iceberg, it still proves difficult to be confronted with the horrors of the Fire Nation's war. In Book 1, Aang is happy-go-lucky very much a child who, unlike Katara and Sokka, hasn't been hardened by years of fighting and genocide. When Aang brings his friends to the Southern Air Temple and finds evidence of the Fire Nation's purge including the remains of his former mentor and father figure the Avatar's grief overwhelms him. Aang enters the iconic, all-powerful Avatar state, demonstrating his most fearsome abilities for the first time. Toward the middle of Book 2, Earth, Aang, and the rest of Team Avatar meet a wayward scholar who's looking for a legendary library hidden in the desert. While the rest of the group ventures into the buried library in search of valuable war-ending information, Toph stays topside with Appa. Of course, the group upsets the library's spirit guardian, Wan Shi Tong, and he tries to trap them. As Toph struggles to keep the library from sinking, opportunistic sandbenders abduct Appa. Needless to say, Aang is livid that his buddy was bison napped. When he finally confronts the sandbenders, the avatar doesn't show mercy. While training with Guru Puthik, Aang learns that in order to open his final chakra, he needs to sever some of his earthly tethers like his romantic feelings for Katara. Aang decides his crush is more important and foregoes the rest of the training. By the end of Book 2, Aang realizes he must enter the avatar state to save Katara, but, to do that, he has to let go of his feelings for her. It's an emotional, epic moment, and Aang's mastery of the Avatar state is crucial to the series finale. However, this first brush with power is cut short when Ashila strikes Aang with lightning. In the two-part Avatar, the last Airbender Book 1 finale, the Fire Nation lays siege to the Northern Water Tribe. The ambitious, power-hungry Admiral Zhao ends up infiltrating the tribe's spirit oasis and killing Tui, the physical manifestation of the moon spirit. In doing so, Zhao slays the moon and takes away the source of the water tribe's bending. While Princess Yu nobly takes Tui's place, Aang ends up fusing with the moon spirit's counterpart, La, the ocean spirit. Together, La and Avatar State aim form Koizala a massive being made of blue energy and they destroy the Fire Nation's forces.